What is Boston Dynamics? It's either a pioneering robotics company helping to lead in a technological revolution or a sign of the coming robot apocalypse. Over the last decade, Boston Dynamics has built some of the most impressive robots in the world that can run, jump, and even dance better than some of us humans. This is the evolution of Boston Dynamics robots. Boston Dynamics was founded in 1992. The company started off by creating realistic 3D computer simulations for aircraft launch operations for the Navy. But not long after, they started making physical robots. The first robot Boston Dynamics created was the Big Dog in 2005. The robot was designed to be able to carry heavy gear for soldiers in terrains too rough for vehicles. Instead of wheels, it had four legs, allowing it to move across surfaces that would defeat wheels. Big Dog was three feet long and stood 2.5 feet tall, making it about the size of a small mule. Despite appearing absurdly awkward in early videos posted by Boston Dynamics' YouTube channel, the robot was surprisingly proficient at keeping its legs under itself. Even when it was kicked by its tester, the big dog did not fall. Let's just hope the robot will not take revenge on humans for this kick. Big Dog was able to carry 340 pounds and climb at a 35-degree incline. It was constantly tested by the military to make sure it could be used in combat. In 2010, Big Dog was improved. It could run at 5 miles per hour and handle different terrains. Nonetheless, the robots still appeared very awkward, and I couldn't stop laughing at a comment on their YouTube video. Quote, After years of research and millions of dollars, engineers were able to accurately reproduce the two drunken men carrying a sofa. Throughout the years, Boston Dynamics kept testing and improving Big Dog. Multiple iterations were made, including Little Dog, which just looks like a legged Wi-Fi router. Big Dog Olay, which hopefully one day can replace the tortured bulls in Spain. The Christmas versions of Big Dog are putting reindeer out of their jobs. Plot twist, the woman is a robot too. Alpha Dog, which could carry 400 pounds of payload on 20 mile missions in rough terrain. And in 2012, the latest generation known as the Legged Squad Support System, or LS3, was developed. It was a significant upgrade compared to Big Dog and could operate in hot, cold, wet, and dirty environments. It could also run faster at 7 miles per hour and was roughly 10 times quieter. Despite improving Big Dog and investing millions at the end of 2015, the Big Dog project was discontinued. The reason was that the robot was too noisy for use in combat, which I can easily understand for the first iteration since it sounded like a swarm of bees. But even the latest generation LS3 wasn't quiet enough for military use. Fun fact, in 2013, Big Dog received an arm. It showed the world how robots could take over the world by throwing bricks at humans. In 2009, Boston Dynamics started working on a human-like robot named Petman. The robot could walk at 3.2 miles per hour. Petman has hydraulic actuators, which act as muscles. In total, Petman has 30 hydraulic actuators. In 2011, Petman received a significant upgrade and could, besides walking, also do squats and push-ups. It's already doing better than my gym attempts. Petman, which stands for Protection Ensemble Test Mannequin, was developed for the U.S. Army, who planned to use the robot to test chemical suits and additional protective gear used by troops. It had to be capable of moving just like a real soldier with walking, running, bending, reaching, and crawling. But to make it even more human-like, it also changes the skin temperature and sweats. Sandflea is another robot developed for the U.S. Army, and it has no trouble jumping over a two-story building. 
The piston is powered by CO2 and can make 30 jumps in a row before running out of power. Sand Flea was designed as handy surveillance in places that would otherwise be inaccessible or too dangerous for humans. The tricky part of the process was keeping Sand Flea oriented as steadily as possible during the jump, since it was also intended to record videos while in midair. The navigational system is so specific that soldiers can even direct the Sand Flea to jump two stories in an open window. Fun fact! Sand flea was intended to be used in Afghanistan to hop over walls, look around, and get right back home again. Well, Afghanistan will take a pause, but maybe it'll be used somewhere else. Who else has got oil? As the name implies, Cheetah was the first attempt to create a fast-running robot. To boost Cheetah's speed, it wasn't just a matter of increasing the energy, it also includes a biologically inspired choreography of interactions between the robot's feet, legs, and back. The Cheetah can reach 28.3 miles per hour. We know Boston Dynamics had their eye on 50 miles per hour for a bit, and the top speed of a biological Cheetah, around 70 miles per hour, may ultimately be within reach. We're not sure when this will be, still considering that Cheetah began from a top speed of 18 miles per hour and came to 28 miles per hour in less than five months. How long will we have to get comfortable with the possibility of being chased down and even eaten by a robotic quadruped? Fun fact! Boston Dynamics' Cheetah speed record at 28.3 miles per hour was incidentally faster than Olympic champion Usain Bolt who got the world record for the 100-meter dash with a speed of 27.8 miles per hour back in 2009. Yes, this means that now there is indeed no escape from a robot cheetah on a treadmill. You've been warned. Wildcat was a four-legged robot developed in 2011. It can run fast on all types of terrains. Wildcat even became the fastest quadruped robot on Earth, running at 20 miles per hour while maneuvering and maintaining its balance. It could even turn while running. If it's going to chase you down, at least you can hear it coming. Next came one of the most exciting robots ever created by Boston Dynamics named Atlas. It is a humanoid robot based on the Petman robot the company had created in 2009. Atlas is the culmination of over a decade of hydraulic humanoid robotics work at Boston Dynamics. Originated in 2013, Atlas stood 6 feet 2 inches tall and weighed 330 pounds. The company initially made the robot for the DARPA Robotics Challenge, a competition meant to accelerate robotics technology development to aid response efforts to natural and human-made disasters. The robot has undergone significant changes since its debut. In 2016, Atlas received a new design with a height of about 5 feet tall. The new version of Atlas is designed to operate both outdoors and inside buildings. It uses sensors in its body and legs to balance and LiDAR and stereo sensors in its head to avoid obstacles. Sadly, Atlas was heavily bullied and cyberbullying was taken to a whole other level. In 2017, Atlas was improved even further so that it could jump but far more impressively, it could do a backflip. With the next generation in 2018, Atlas could run outdoors. Now he could finally escape from the physical abuse in the lab. I hope he's fine. During the development process, new techniques were developed, allowing Atlas to use its whole body with complex algorithms to calculate the speed and coordination of its movement. It learned to do parkour and could do tricks with a success rate of about 80%. You thought that was impressive, in 2021, the humanoid robot could finish a whole parkour. Man, it's crazy how fast Atlas gets developed. You might ask yourself, why did they teach the robot to do parkour? At a practical level, um, it's a platform for us to do R&D on. And as an Atlas team, we're encouraged to push you know, that platform to its limits, like do the most crazy, exciting, high power stuff we can do with it. And so we're always expanding and pushing the limits of Atlas's capabilities. And then, you know, hopefully by extension, extending the capabilities of the company as well at the same time. So pushing the limits on Atlas pushed the innovation for both hardware and software that translates to all other robots at Boston Dynamics. But letting Atlas do parkour wasn't easy at all. Music 
Atlas was capable of doing tricks before, but what made this really challenging was that it had to do the entire course in one run. So Atlas had to be able to do tricks reliably. Fun fact, Boston Dynamics says it will not partner with those who wish to use robots as weapons. The original Spot, which has since become Spot Classic, became a turning point in Boston Dynamics robot evolution. It was designed for both indoor and outdoor operations, weighing in at around 160 pounds. It was faster, smaller, and more agile than the big dog models that came before it. The size reduction came from using an electronic instead of gas engine to power its hydraulic system. The company describes Spot Classic as the machine that, quote, laid the groundwork for the strong dynamic robot controls seen on Spot today. Multiple iterations were made, including Spot Mini in 2016, which is a smaller version weighing 55 pounds. The name was later changed to just Spot as it became the flagship design for the Spot model. The robot is all electric and runs for about 90 minutes on a charge. One year later, Spot received a new, more iconic yellow design. It is one of the quietest robots the company had ever built. Some versions also include an arm, allowing it to do more tasks, like opening doors. This is the most watched video from the Boston Dynamics YouTube channel and has over 140 million views. And just like you would expect from Boston Dynamics, Spot was also heavily abused. Spot was also able to do more tasks autonomously, including navigating through the lab facility. It uses data from the cameras to localize itself in the map and to detect and avoid obstacles. Spot was the first robot the company released commercially. In June 2020, it became available for consumers for $74,500. Spot has already been used in hospitals, police, and fire departments, and construction sites. The robot is used for a huge variety of applications. It can autonomously collect data, capture and monitor sites, carry up to 14 kilograms of equipment, explore terrains, and it can also be used for custom tasks. Spot's arm can pick up, carry, and drag items. It has a 4K camera and an LED illuminator to inspect objects. It can also do other tasks like turn valves, flip levers, or open doors. Boston Dynamics also started working with NASA. The robot can explore new areas, including areas on other planets that are inaccessible to humans. Spot can make a 3D map of the location. It can also, uh, sorry for my bad pun, spot things that might be interesting and take pictures of them to send to the operator. Spot Arm can also take samples. Maybe one day we'll see Spot exploring Mars. Honestly, I think Boston Dynamics and SpaceX should work together. Spot robots might be able to help colonize Mars. Fun fact, Boston Dynamics has changed ownership multiple times. In 2013, the company was acquired by Alphabet Inc., which is the parent company of Google. In 2017, the company was sold to Japan's SoftBank Group. And in 2020, Hyundai Motor Group acquired an 80% stake in the company for approximately $880 million. In 2021, they also decided to buy the other 20%, paying in total $1.1 billion to acquire Boston Dynamics. To celebrate the new ownership, they launched a video with a group of spot robots dancing. In 2017, Handle was introduced, which the company has declared as, quote, a research venture into wheeled robots. The wheeled robot stands 6.5 feet tall and can reach a top speed of 9 miles per hour. Handle is designed for logistics and can handle tasks like picking up boxes and placing them somewhere else. In 2021, two more commercially available robots were introduced for warehouse operations. The first is PIC and uses machine learning algorithms to depalletize fast and accurately. The second is Stretch, 
Stretch is a versatile mobile robot that can unload trucks and build pallets. These robots can work autonomously. Meanwhile, warehouse workers watching this are getting stressed. It is unbelievable how far Boston Dynamics has come with its robots. With the noisy and clumsy Big Dog developed in 2005, all the way to the latest iterations of Atlas and Spot in 2021 that can even dance together. I really hope you've enjoyed this incredible journey and subscribe if you're watching this video before robots have taken over the world.